And then there is the classroom joy. That's the scatter diagram. Students put a dot up for how many they got right. There's a student put a sticker up. Every kid puts a dot for how many they got right. There's no names, there's no embarrassment. They just put a dot up. There's a student with a pencil dot, another one with a sticker. Here's a scatter diagram. John Hattie with Visible Learning. I got to talk to him one-on-one -on -one in July. And I showed him what I'm, just a little bit of what I'm sharing with you today. He saw the scatter diagram and he said, everything you need to calculate effect size is on that scatter diagram. So this is a first grade teacher, math standards. She sent me a picture of her scatter diagram. Many of the teachers I wrote and I said, do you have a scatter diagram from last year? And they said, I already got rid of it. I don't have it anymore, okay? But when they do and they send me a photograph of it, I can calculate the effect size. I learned from John Hattie how to do that. And she had effect size of 1.6. Remember, average is 0.4. Four times the learning in a normal classroom because they were asked to what? Remember. One of the things that John Hattie said is that 95% of what we do in schools works. It moves them up. But half of what we do in schools does not give them a year's learning in a year's time. The issue is not did it work. The issue is did it work well enough in order to give a year's learning in a year's time.